What I have here is a range of penetrometers that can be used for measuring compaction. So we have something that's relatively expensive, like this one, which is a digital penetrometer. Measuring compaction by ultrasonic waves. And as you move through the soil, you continuously push through at a constant speed until it gets to the point where either it gets all the way to the bottom or the compaction load is exceeded as it has here. By being a logger, you can actually then do multiple samples and you can continuously um, move across the paddock and take readings. And what we see here is an example of the readout from the penetrometer. This is a pressure gauge style penetrometer. It has a gauge to read the pressure internally. Like other penetrometers, it's just pushed into the soil. And you observe the way the needle moves on the pressure gauge. And then that is the reading for compaction at that layer. Using marks on the, on the rod, you can then gauge how deep it is into the soil. The spring penetrometer has an internal spring and graduation lines up based on the level of force required to push it into the soil. Like all penetrometers, with consistent force, it's pushed into the soil, taking note of how the button moves up the stem of the penetrometer. This is an example of a, of a homemade shaft. Um, basically it's just a, a thin bit of rod welded onto a T-piece. It doesn't have to be a round T-piece, it can be flat or square. And these are very handy, but in terms of using these, you're using your hands and your muscles to measure the resistance. So by using it, it's pushing into the soil, you're feeling the pressure through your arms and through your hands seeking out a spot where there's more resistance and like others you can then measure the distance down that the soil is compacted.